The last comprehensive review of the Workers' Compensation Board was done more than 15 years ago. And so this is long overdue. It is absolutely critical that Albertans feel confident that this system provides fair compensation and meaningful rehabilitation in a way that is sustainable and affordable. This in-depth review will look at all parts of the WCB system, including governance, administration, and legislation. That means everything from the time it takes to process a claim to presumptive coverage for employees with post-traumatic stress disorder, just to give a couple of examples. In addition to the WCB, the panel will also look at the Appeals Commission and the Medical Panel Office. The panel will engage with injured workers, employers, labor unions, key partners, and interested Albertans who rely on the WCB system. This will also include meaningful discussions with farmers and ranchers and their waged farm workers who are new to the WCB system and will have recommendations. I also want to stress that the dedicated WCB board members, staff, and other officials will be engaged in every step of the way. As Labour Minister, it's very important to me that absolutely everyone who relies on the WCB is heard through this process. Our intent in a comprehensive review is to look at the Workers' Compensation Board's governance and effectiveness, the principles of compensation, the policies of the WCB, including those related to privacy and confidentiality, as well as the transparency of processes and decision making. As Minister Gray noted, uh, we will, are committed to providing her with a progress report this fall and expect to be able to deliver a final report next spring. I think there's a cultural shift in the WCB that has to change. It's run like a business and it's not a business and it shouldn't be a business. It should be there as a protection for, for workers' health and safety and to ensure that uh, you know, workers that are injured are, are, are compensated and, and protected. So it, it's not a business but it's certainly run like one. I think, think somebody alluded to the very high salaries at the top end of it. Um, and this is part of the problem with boards and commissions um, in Alberta is, is they've taken on this business mentality as opposed to being what they are, which is a public service uh, for the people who need them. And, and maybe part of this review will look at that culture.